Hey guys, JR again. It's been a while since I've done a, a YouTube video. Uh, I quit a job. I started a job which I worked for about two months and decided that I didn't like it and that I'm too old to wait around. So I managed to land myself a new job, um, which is at a pretty cool toy company here in Australia and sort of leans towards uh, my collectibles and stuff that I get. Um, now, I got a couple of new bombshells. I did say that I wasn't going to buy bombshells anymore, but what actually happened was is that they were too nice to pass up and I'd been assured by a couple of people that the quality control had gotten better. I'd actually stopped the, the bombshell collecting because they are, they're having problems with slotting into the base because they come in pieces. And there was one in particular whose legs I had to sort of stretch to slide into the base. Now when you're paying $140 to $220 in some cases on a statue, the last thing you want to be doing with that polystone stuff that, that particularly DC use is doing this to it because they're not plastic and eventually they're just going to snap. Um, so I have bought two new ones. Uh, one of them I was too excited to wait to do an unboxing. So this one, I've got an unboxing for one, but I've got one that I've actually already opened because it was uh, a really nice one and I came home late at night with it and I just had to tear it open. So the first one that I've got here is this one. This is uh, uh, Bumblebee. She, I think she started in DC Comics in the late 60s, early 70s. She was one of the... Uh, one of the Teen Titans, and she's been, I think she was in Teen Titans Go as well, and she might be in the new, there's a new Disney TV show or series of comics and stuff that is all about all of the girls from DC are in high school together. So like Harley Quinn's the funny class clown and Wonder Woman's the brave one and all of that sort of stuff. And uh, so she's in that, but this is actually not anything to do with that. The Bumblebee here is actually done as a cheerleader, the 1950s style cheerleader. Really nice one. The face is a bit okay, but but the the motion of the body it's probably the most the most vibrant of all of the bombshells because most of them are just all being demure. But this one she's actually in motion. Was disappointed that they didn't give her make this clear, but I respect the fact that it's obviously got to be metal or something to to hold her upright because she is only being held up upright by that. Um, they have maintained the black and yellow theme of it. Um, of, of Bumblebee's costume from the Teen Titans, and it's a really, really nice model. Um, like I said, I just tore into it. I couldn't wait. Uh, I didn't have the problem of trying to get the, the legs stretched into the base because of this. It does have just a single post, so it was a nice and easy one to do. But even though she's cool, this is the one we're about today, and unfortunately it's a little bit late for it. I should have possibly bought it a little bit earlier, because of the occasion that she represents. Um, so I'm just going to move Bumblebee over here and drag this one over. Batgirl. So this is a Halloween Batgirl and she's done as a bat. Um, so the previous Batgirl, uh, which I'll get in a second, the previous Batgirl was actually done as like a, uh, a pilot who was removing a parachute from her backpack. Um, so I'll grab her first and then we'll open this one. So we'll be right back. Okay, so here's the original Batgirl one that came out. Uh, she's in her, her traditional, or well, her traditional, her modern purple and yellow. Traditionally, she wore more of a, a blue and yellow. I think the purple came in because of Yvonne Craig's portrayal of her in the, um, the Batman TV show. Um, as you can see, she's a World War II pilot. Her helmet with the bat ears, it's like the flap, the tie-down flap has been um, brought around to on top. If anything, she looks a little bit like DC's Enemy Ace. If any of you have been reading DC comics for a while, you'll know that um, that Enemy Ace is sort of his cowl sort of tied up over his head. Now, on the back of her here, she's got a parachute bag. Are they parachute bag? I guess they're a parachute bag. With, the, um, with her pulling the parachute out and to represent that it's coming out as bat wings because you know a parachute would normally have strings attached to this and so it makes the, the concave effect when it pulls down. So that's what she looked like originally. Um, 
let's have a look at this one and see how she compares. Now these are all designed on, um, based on Aunt Lucia's art. Uh, Aunt Lucia was apparently the guy who came up with the concept of the DC girls as 1950s sort of heroines. Um, and there's a comic based on it as, as well um, that uh, is about them as 1950s heroine defending America from various infiltrators. So yeah, it looks like this was a display one because it looks like it's already been opened um, and I didn't do that. So let's have a look at her. So it comes in the three parts, the base, and I've got a nice early number. These are limited to 5,200 a piece. Um, Batgirl is 502. So that's a, a pretty early one. Um, they come with the separate little basey thing. They now come with this magnetic bit. It used to be that these were attached on, but they broke really regularly, so DC stopped doing them. So that just magnetizes onto there, and it's got a hella good magnet. And here's the beautiful Batgirl. Um, DC obviously realized that they're two peg thing, because this one was two pegs in, if I remember correctly. And this one is one peg in. So essentially what they've done is they have redesigned the backpack and they have redesigned the head. The rest of it is more or less the same. So we now have a vampire sort of a head. I think she's got little vampire teeth. Yep, she's very cool. She's almost almost Julie Newmari. Um, and her, her red hair is now done up in the, the Batwing style, which I think there was like a rock, there's like a rockabilly style where it comes up around like that. I don't know, I'm not an expert on rockabilly. She's now wearing uh, orange and black because Halloween. Um, DC have done this before. There was two girls that came out as Christmas girls as well. There's a Christmas Harley Quinn where instead of having a gun over her shoulder, she's got a bag full of Christmas stuff and the Christmas stuff is like Batman's belt and cowl and I think Robin's cape might be in there or his, or his domino glasses. And there's a Wonder Woman one. The original Wonder Woman one had her ripping chains apart and in the redo of it, she's actually putting up Christmas lights. Um, the colours are all in green and red. So here they've obviously done the same with making it a Halloween thing. Anyway, um, so she's all in black and orange. She's got that gorgeous face on her. Really nice job on the face. Now, if you have a look at the back, this is where this comes alive. She has got a coffin on her back and is pulling her bat wings out of the coffin. So th there's a redesign there as well. Um, the face on her is gorgeous. There's a bit of a paint nasty on that, but that's gonna happen. She's even got a belly button pierced too. Both of them have their belly button pierced. Um, they don't have redesign of the boot. No, no, they just look slightly different. Um, but most of it's the same. Um, so I'll put them side by side now. So I think you should be able to see those. So she's been put on a slightly different angle on the base because this one always seemed to be a little bit facing that way too much. And so they brought her around a little bit forward. Um, as you can see, that's one that's attached and that's one that comes away. Um, but yeah, really, really nice one. I'm stoked to have gotten this. I think I paid paid just over a hundred bucks for this one. This one cost me about 220. So, um, uh, so much for um, increases in, in how much stuff costs. I can't believe that. So it, this is two or three years old and so inflation has brought it down by 80 bucks. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, so that's my uh, my new toy opening. Let's bring Bumblebee back in here. May as well have all of the girls together. There we go. She can cheer them on. All right, so that's it, guys. Don't forget, if you want to read my horror movie and, and comic reviews, www.2watchpile.com. Also, if you like this video, cha-ching, hit the thumbs up, give me a like. And you can also subscribe. That'd be great. You subscribe. I know that people are watching, and then I'll try and do more. Uh... I've actually got a pretty cool thing coming up in the next week that those of you who are Suicide Squad fans are going to love. Uh, so the next video is going to be another Suicide Squad centric one. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.